you are not doing something wrong, loving somebody, appreciating somebody, valuing somebody deeply. I just wanted to come on really quickly, day off. I haven't even done my hair yet. Getting ready to go out for an awesome massage and then maybe a little shopping and then relaxing all day. Of course, I just had some inspiration, just like a little bit of a download, and I am being nudged and urged to share this with some of you guys, especially those of you in the collectives, regardless of what your circumstances were with your specific person. But if you believe that you are casting a spell or you're afraid that doing the inner work is casting a spell, or if you think that uh, this is kind of like a thing of thought transmission moving from your mind to their mind, or you're afraid that you're manipulating them, or somehow you're trying to override their free will, this is the video for you. And this is going to be short and sweet. But anyway, so before I do get into this, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. If you want me to be your coach, email me a short description to kmicoreunion.com. I can help you manifest an improvement with the relationship with your specific person, or I can help you manifest your specific person back. You can then go to my website, coreunion.com, and then you can do a single session or a package of single sessions, which just makes it more affordable to meet with me more than once. So this is what just came into my head this morning, and I, I had to come on and share it. Don't think of it like as if you are here, your person is over here, and you're doing your inner work, and it's going from your mind over like the environment in the air and then dropping into their mind. I guess if you do think about it, that's fine. But I think your intention behind this and knowing that you're not doing anything manipulative or wrong can be a game changer for you. You and your person on an energetic level are already one. You are already together. And then some of you guys are, yeah, but in terms of everyone as you pushed out, I'm one with everything. Yes, that's true. You are not wanting everyone and everything in your reality that you are one with to be in a romantic, passionate, loving relationship. The divine messenger in your reality that is playing the role of being husband, wife, life partner is your specific person not this person, that person, or the other. Don't get me wrong. If you aren't really deeply in love, you don't need to keep manifesting this specific person. Do all the work within yourself and just focus more on the dynamic that you want to have and the experience that you want to have and the qualities and attributes that you have being the person in that kind of healthy relationship and focus on the qualities and attributes of who your mate would be and what they look like. But when it comes to the deep soul connections, then I want you to think of it this way. They're already within you. Anything and everything that has anything to do with this physical reality is irrelevant on a soul level and an energetic level. The things in the 3D do not matter. And at the level of atoms, we are literally all the same. I'm the same as you. I'm the same as my computer, as the tree outside, as the dogs. Anything and everything is all made up of the same stuff. Without going into like a lesson on quantum mechanics or quantum entanglement, I am going to use quantum entanglement as a metaphor to get you guys thinking and understanding what I'm talking about. So you are here and you perceive that your person is here, but Technically, you guys are one, but in the 3D, it appears that you were living your life, they were living their life, and then boom, you met, and there was a connection. The connection was already there before you were even born, okay, because all creation was done. But from the 3D perspective, that's what the story looks like. Okay, so then you meet, you connect, you have some sort of experiences, and then boom, something happens, and now you are perceiving that you're separate again. In the idea of quantum entanglement is that you have an atom 
that's in its particle form because atoms, you know, are particle and wave, and you have another atom and somehow they collide. And during that collision, they become entangled when they become entangled and then they appear to be apart again. Now this atom is here, this atom is here. And whether this atom is uh, five inches away or light years away, when this atom spins, this atom instantaneously spins. They've proven this. So in the same way, when you thinking you're over here and your specific is over here, your specific person is over here, when you make an inner change in trust, safety, security, love, believing in yourself, believing in the connection, trusting yourself, knowing that you're safe, knowing that you're secure, loving yourself deeply, appreciating yourself, valuing yourself. And you also see all of these things of for your specific person as well. When you move into trust, they move into trust. It's not a thought transmission that's going out to them. It's instantaneous in the same way with in the idea of quantum entanglement. Okay, so remember that one of the reasons why you guys continue to get kind of in your own way is because of the wavering. It's because of the lack of trust. It's because of the desperation. It's because of the fear. It's because of the not trusting in your heart and soul and thinking that you're doing something wrong. You are not doing something wrong, loving somebody, appreciating somebody, valuing somebody deeply. That somebody first should be yourself and of course, also them, because you guys are one. So when you're loving yourself and trusting yourself and valuing yourself and appreciating, respecting yourself, you are also loving, valuing, respecting, appreciating your specific person too. And they are instantaneously loving, valuing, respecting, appreciating themselves and you. You're here. They appear to be there. You move, they move the same as in quantum entanglement. I love you so much. If you need me, reach out and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come. Nothing can come. Nothing can come. It's